look at another box from the folks over at Horror Block, the Pop Horror Mystery Box. Anxious to get one of these boxes for yourself? I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Head over to www.horrorblock.com. You can also follow them on facebook.com forward slash horrorblock, Twitter at horrorblock, and also Instagram. If Instagram is your thing, it's not really my thing. I'm trying to get into it, but just not feeling it. I still do Twitter though, so if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do that. But if you are into Instagram, you can also follow them at horrorblock over there as well. A big bloody handprint. Almost looks like it could be mine. Fingers kind of match up somewhat. A big bloody handprint marks that this is the horror block, the pop horror mystery box. One of the premier horror boxes uh, delivered to you every single month. This is horror block for September 2016. So that, there you go. Now you know. We're going to get this opened up. We're going to find out what we're going to get inside from horror block. And in order to do that, I'm going to need a knife. I got Hank here. Hi, Hank. How you doing, buddy? We're gonna get this cut open on the front, right here, and we're gonna find out what we got inside for Horror Block. I feel as if, and perhaps you guys can agree with me, I feel like of many of the horror, the many of the subscription boxes that Spot does, you guys seem to really look forward to doing for me doing the Horror Block unboxings. So I don't blame you. I mean, again, Horror Blocks are really cool items inside. Let's see what we got for this month's box. So the first thing we have is a shirt from the folks over at Shirt Punch, www.shirtpunch.com. Save 10%. Use the promo code Best Shirts. And what do we get in this month's box? We got ourselves Misery Lane. Misery Lane with Kathy Bates on the top there and her sledgehammer. That's a pretty cool looking t-shirt. I like how it's even got down below the depicted scene of the car that's flipped over. If you haven't watched Misery, do give it a watch. It's a bit of an older movie, yes, but it's full of suspense. It's full of still graphic images, especially, especially the sledgehammer. Let's see what else we have in here. We got ourselves Pennywise, Pennywise the Clown. Fittingly also as well, because they I think they've just finished wrapping shoots on the remake of It. Of course, now they're gonna be in post-production and all that kind of stuff as well, but if they have wrapped shooting. One of Tim Curry's finest roles. Let's just fix his hair here. I'm kind of a toss between uh, it and the Lord of Darkness, uh, Darkness from uh, Legend. Both were classic, iconic characters. I think probably I kind of gravitate more towards Pennywise because it just comes across more like Tim Curry. It's jarring when you see him in Legend because you really don't, it has aspects of Tim Curry but it just see, it seems so very cool. Like, it's such a cool role. I loved, I loved him in Legend. But I always kind of think of Tim Curry more so. I jump right to It. Very creepy looking clown. Wonder if he's got some balloons with him. Because they're the balloons, after all. They fit. A very interesting. I, I don't feel like the new one is going to do as good of, uh, of a job as, you know, how he appeared in the original It. We'll see. Maybe the, the new actor playing Pennywise will do as good of a job. But I, I feel like there's no way to top Tim Curry. There really isn't. Uh, we also have... What do we got here? Well, this is interesting. We've got ourselves a door, or part of a door, that is a key hook. It's the shining key hook. I love this. I love that. It's got red rum on the top there, or in the middle of the door. Uh, what was it? Red Ram, Red Ram. Uh, of course, backwards in the mirror. It's murder. But it is a key hook. I can hang my keys on here. Of course, I'm probably not going to be able to get away with uh, putting this up in the kitchen or wherever I usually keep my keys. I'm sure the boss is probably going to be like, "No, I don't want. I, I don't want that there. Uh, please put it somewhere else." So I'll have to probably put it in the basement. I'll put it in the man cave. That is really cool. I love that. Fine, fine work. I wonder who makes this. It doesn't actually say. It just says The Shining. This is made in China. But it doesn't say who makes it. This is definitely going to go up. I'm going to have to find a place for that. Definitely going to find a place for that. Uh, we also got inside uh, Monstro Bizarro, an essential manual of mysterious monsters. 
Monstro Bizarro. There's something about old vintage artwork like this. Like the old vintage style of post movie posters and stuff like that. Let's quick do a peruse quickly through. Quickly. We've got Sasquatch. What else do we have in here? Different versions of Sasquatch. Willow Creek. Halloween. Blurring the lines, the cinematic shape of Boogie. What does that say? Oh, Boggy Creek. The Legend of Boggy Creek. I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever seen that one. There's something in the woods. Very, very cool. I'll look, look, definitely look forward to reading that a little bit later. I'll put that right over there. We also got ourselves an autograph. An autograph from PJ Souls. PJ Souls were was in Carrie. Uh, she obviously probably most people remember her from uh, Halloween, the original Halloween, of course. PJ Souls. I'm gonna have to find a place to put that. This is the actual signing of this item was part of witnessed by a member of the Iconic Ink Management. The certificate accompanies an item bearing the authentic signature of PJ Souls. Nice, I like that. I'll put that right to the side. What a fantastic box. We're still not finished yet. There's looks like a couple more things. We got ourselves a print. Is this Dark Tower? It may be. I I don't follow Dark Tower, but it kind of looks like it should be Dark Tower. Nice inked image there. And then we've got some advertisement cards. I feel like there's still something in here. Hello? There it is. There it is right there. For starters, we got ourselves a card. A shirt punch card, as I always do. There's the there's the code for you. Save $10 off. A new card delivered monthly. Collect the set to receive a $100 shirt punch gift card. And that is for you. There's also another one. Oh, this is your one-stop nerd shop launches October 20, 2016. There's also a $10 credit. See nerdblock.com forward slash shop dash launch for details. There's another code there. Redeem this code at nerdblock.com. I'm, I'm giving that to you. That's for anybody out there. No, go ahead, take it. Nah, go ahead, take it. It's the least I could do. You got it? Okay, good. All right, so let's see what we got for this month's box. We have the Shining Red Rum Key Hook. All work and no play makes Jack a very dull boy. Bring a little piece of the Overlook Hotel home with you today. Hang your keys or your noose on this exclusive red rum key hook. And on the back, we've got the T-shirt Misery, which was also an exclusive. A Pennywise plush, also an exclusive. Oh, it was the Dark Tower. Dark Tower art prints, an exclusive. An autograph, Norma Watson from Carrie, or PJ Souls uh, autograph. And then there's the issue of Rue Morgue, which I don't think I did get. I didn't get Rue Morgue, but I got this book, which I, if you ask me, is a fair trade. Not that I don't mind Rue Morgue, but I'm definitely looking forward to giving this more of a gander. Spot says gander a lot. I know, I, I always say gander. I'm going to give that a gander later on. As for next month's box, everybody's like right now saying, Oh, I wish I got this box. I know, I know. This is the downside of me making videos like this is because by the time I'm shooting these videos, you guys are always like, ah, I wish I could have got this box. Well, fear not. If you guys are interested in getting the horror block for next month, the next month's horror block will include an exclusive item from A Nightmare on Elm Street, plus five exclusives, along with some killer exclusive items from Halloween and Hellraiser. That seems like that's going to be the definitive horror block is next month. Of course, next month also is Halloween. Uh, get on this. Don't be that person that says, oh, I should have got this. Oh, I wish I could have got this. Be that person that goes, you know what? Right at this minute, I'm going to www.horrorblock.com. I'm subscribing and I'm going to get one of these bo boxes. Gosh darn, I'm going to get one of these boxes for next month and I'm going to get all this swag. This swag here, this swag here, this swag. Well, maybe not this swag. This swag's gone. But if you guys are interested in getting Horror Block for next month, uh, don't delay. Click the link down below and you can subscribe today. And speaking of the word today, 
today we were having a look at the horror block for September 2016. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.